Welcome, guys. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're joined by uh, Tariso, uh, uh, a fellow superstar in PSL and Super United, a good friend of mine. Um, before we start, I gotta introduce you. I gotta like tell the story of how we met. I'm not gonna go into too much depth, but uh, <laughs> I was a little bit intoxicated the day I met this man, and I was bothering him, but he was so nice to share his numbers so it was a good encounter i don't know if you remember yeah that. i do i do big man 100 percent. i can't i can't forget the day i do as you yeah. said you're bothering us so i can't i can't forget the day but now nah, you know it was a good day it was a really oh, good, day, a good yeah. day man I, i'm happy i got the chance to meet you and grab your contacts but yeah uh let me start mm. bro uh the first question is tell us a little bit more about your football journey what how did the passion come about, the dedication? What brought that spark to say, you know what, this is what I have to do? Mm, bro, yeah, it's been it's been a long, nice, stressful, sad happiness of 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 Jenny and mm. but but it but all in all, it just been grateful to 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 get the opportunity from God giving us, uh, or maybe specifically me, an opportunity to play football. It's a very, very nice sport. Uh, obviously, from the Kasi, I'm from uh, Val, and where a lot of people don't normally follow their dreams and the passion because of the lifestyle, you know, what mm. uh, what is happening in the township and all those kind of things. So to 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 be able to to go out of that background and be able to be one of the best or in, in your community or your society. It's very mm. grateful, man. So first thing all, I'd like to thank God for that. And he's been there for me and every, every step, every step. So yeah, man, your, your journey, question. Your journey is good. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah it's, been, it, it's been good, but very, very uh, sad because mm. uh, there's a lot of, lot of challenges that, I went through because of this football thing. Uh, okay, I started playing for for a team called uh, Junior Lions. So okay, it's okay. Uh, it's a team. Yeah, it's a it's an amateur team in in the Val. That's okay. where I started. Yeah, started discovering football. How talented I am and all those kind of things. I started playing for Junior Lions, and Junior Lions it's one of the teams in in Val with the, a lot of stars like they're playing in the PSL. I can count Tabo Rahalis, Tabo Myamani, uh Kenny Mudi, Tabo Rahali played for Pirates, played for Chipa, played for for Sikukune and so uh, Tabo Myamani played for right Super You represent Yeah they yeah the team team managed to to create and develop top top mm -hmm. players and mostly top athletes and Athletes that went to school. That's the most, the most important thing. Those are the graduates, like, all of them. What do you think all of them, is the success that brings that um, club to produce such good talents? What do you think is their recipe or that, that thing that kind of just says, you know what, this club, we know how to produce stars. So what do you think it is? Bro, uh, the, 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 I, I don't want to lie to you. Uh, the discipline of, of the coach is there. Like the founder of the team is the one that makes sure that uh, everyone gets to 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 be fed the the same medicine, to be able to focus on. Firstly, they, as I said, all the players that I counted, they are graduates, all of them. So the okay. most important thing is your discipline, your discipline, your time management, because we managed to be able to to deal with both football and, and, and education at the same time. So the medicine there, it's the focus and the dedication and, and the discipline is the most, most important thing that made us to yeah. be where we are today. Well, yeah. uh, I have to, I obviously congratulated you prior and even before, but I have to do it again. Congratulations on yeah. graduations. You got a, is a sports management, that side, man, you did fantastic, bro. Yeah, thank you so much, big man. Thank you so much, man. All right, let's go to the next so, question. Oh, wait, you want to say yeah. something? No, I, I, I was just emphasizing on 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 mm -hmm. the question that you asked. So the dedication and and the, the time management, the discipline. Everyone, if we we if maybe you can be able to interview three of us, I'm telling you, we'll have to speak the same language. It's because of that. Yeah, we'll say the same thing. <laughs> 
the same thing the same thing same thing and that's uh, that's i think that's like the power of football philosophy it's like the team holds it and you know you can go on with your life with it and still practice the same thing so now that's actually inspiring. yeah that's really inspiring Hope, yeah uh, let me uh put something a little light right uh people are dying to know the day-to-day -day routine for a psl player so please tell us so what do you do from the morning in a normal routine in a you know being a football player in one of the biggest leagues in africa in africa yeah man uh from 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 my perspective like from what i do because we different you know we yeah, we yeah. different people we different we think different we do things different but from my side my routine is always okay i can't say it's always the same but the uh, dynamics way you know that these are principles of what i do on normal days you understand so uh normally the time I was still at school, because I'm done now, the time I was still at school, most of my time is like, uh, we normally train, at maybe starting from nine in the morning, nine, nine okay. and okay. maybe, yeah, then we, we, we finish maybe around 11 o'clock or maybe late test will be like 12. So with what I do normally, day-to-day -day routine, we go to training, but it depends because it depends on the kind of, of because football, it's it's having a lot of uh, challenges and dynamics inside of it. So there's mm. different coaches, different uh, management and different clubs, how they do things. But you have your own perspective way to do your your own things. So, so normally, your day, with my, like, how's your, your specific? Yeah, my day, wake up in the morning, prepare for 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 training, go to training, either I go maybe for a warm-up in the gym, and then later on you start to 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 do maybe the warm-up for the for 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 the club. And then the main session, main session after main session, no matter that time I was still at school after 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 the session, maybe you go for, for lunch or whatever. And then with most of the time then I go to library. Maybe three twice a a, a week, three times four or maybe yeah, twice a week, then I go to library for like four or three hours. Yeah. Hey, man, you're so that's, hey, you're that's, that's, hey. yeah, man, because I, I'm far from home, you know, so mm. PE is very, very far, so I don't have a lot of things to do. So when I'm done with football, so what am I going to do? Because after 12, um, you have the whole think... day until tomorrow, so you do have uh, time to go and, and push, you know, Stuff. So that's that's normally my my day to day routine. Go to to wake up, go to training. After training, come back home. Either I rest, or if I don't rest, then I can go study a bit. Then I come back, cook, and then prepare. Then later on, I can watch right. TV a bit. Then I sleep. Yeah. All right. Next question. Look. All right. Next question. Uh, what is your highlight of your career so far? Because I know there's a lot more to come, but so far, yeah. your highlight. Cause you're on your, bro. You're in, you are you you're in your primes now, like, bro. Hey, you're, you're, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. So my highlight, bro, it's I've been praying to score goals. You know, I started playing here since 2019, and I never played a lot of games. And then 2020, 2021, and then okay, I was assisting there and there because I was I was not getting more games. I mean, you got last you got season. two assist in the Net Bank Cup, so you gotta come on, man, come on. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great, great, great. Yeah, and and the highlight, the top highlight, it's when I scored against the uh, the top team in Africa against yeah. Mamelodi Sundowns last season. Yes, bro. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that's the, the nicest feeling I've ever had. Oh, that was good, bro. That was a top. Oh, that was a top feeling, man. To score against a top team like Orlando's uh, uh, Sundowns, it's, yeah. it's top because uh, I. The nicest thing about that is that I broke the record because I think they played like ten games in a row, not conceding. So I'm the one who break that record of scoring them because they played all the games. They never yeah. considered. Yeah. So I'm the one who break that record. Yeah. So it was it was that was my my greatest highlight for for not for for the career, but I've been praying to score goals and I score, that was the first goal yeah. I ever scored in the PSL to what score against the like, team. Uh, yeah. What was the celebration, bro? I got I didn't watch the match. What was like, <laughs> the celebration? Uh, I never celebrated, you know, because I scored. Uh, they they were 
they were they 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 were we were trailing two zero down, oh, and I okay. scored, and yeah. now I think we left like ten minutes left. So the only way is to oh, go no, face no. the ball and come back so that we can oh, score another I'm goal. Sorry, yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you recognize the opportunity to celebrate, man. To celebrate, yeah, yeah, true, true. true. But, but either what stadium was the the goal in? Sorry, what stadium did you score in? That uh, the oh, first I scored the Loftus, Loft in Loftus, yeah. Nice, Loftus. nice. And you, you US are you US supposed to be there? You are supposed Imagine. to be there to watch nah. the game. <laughs> yeah, right, man, but it was a, it was a great feeling. Let me ask you the next one. Um. Well, with Chupa United, being in Chupa United, uh, how's the experience with the team? What makes the club and the supporters stand out and, you know, be unique? I oh, mean, uh, Chupa is a very good club, but I don't want to lie to you. There's a lot of things uh, there and there in the media, but what I can tell you is that Chupa is a very good club. A lot of people are asking me, hey, why don't you leave the club? You've been there for some time. But now you had a top top season last season. Why don't you you you, you, you go season, because they, oh, yeah season. they were oh, oh, yeah so awesome. they, a lot of people even now they calling him a man. Why are you still there? And we saw the 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 articles uh, that you might go to pirates, you might go to to Amazulu, and I said no man. You know, uh, as your question was saying, this is a very good club and. Uh, this is the only club in the Eastern Cape. You must know that. Mm-hmm. This is the only club in the Eastern Cape. The support, it's extremely, extremely top. Because people here, they love football, man. They really, really love football. They go crazy. They don't care what's happening with the, with the, with the thing. They don't yeah. care about yeah. either the club is not doing well or whatever. They don't care about that. But the support is always top. So that's the nicest thing about the about, uh, the 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 principles of how uh, the club has been ran there yeah, and and I how the supporters you, how, are giving their best. How did Chubby United cope, especially with the pandemic? And you guys had to go a full season or almost two seasons without fans. How was that experience for you, especially and your teammates? Yeah, bro, it it was difficult. I don't want to lie. It was difficult, and and you know when you play and your supporters are not there to push you to make sure because supporters they are extra, they are extra men in the field. Yeah, so man, if they're giving you that, man, yeah. that extra, yeah, if they're giving you that extra effort, definitely you can do better. We played against last season. We played against the uh, Golden Arrows, our last game of the league. So yeah. we we were supposed to either win or draw the the game. I'm definitely. Bro, if we lost that game, we're relegated. But what I can tell you, half of the stadium was like almost full. They had uh, the faith and the belief that those boys can do it. So those are the things that motivate us, you understand? So yeah. that time of the pandemic, it was a bit difficult because you don't get the motivation. Man, you don't get the motivation, man. but... It's football, bro. You get inspired by the fans, and the fans get inspired by you. Because us fans, bro, mm. we get inspired by the players, of course, you know. And it's like vice versa, and we feel mm. Mm. each other energy. It's something else, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing like it, eh? Yeah, yeah, true, true that, true that. All right, next one. Uh, can you share a funny moment uh, or a funny or good um, memorable locker room moment that you had with your teammates? Just any funny thing that's just random. Yeah, man, there's a lot, you know. There's a lot. So uh with me is that uh maybe you see me one day. I don't know how to dance. So I don't know how to dance and I've been there. So I have a lot of I'm I'm one of the the, the people that a lot of people like, you understand? They're in the team, they know that I ah, this one we can play with him. He, he's a very good guy. We know that he's not that kind of people that only you speak to this one, you don't speak to that one. So they're, they're those kind of funny things that they know that I don't know how to dance. So in the, most of the time in a dressing room, maybe if I buy something new, so I bought I bought soccer boots. So right. because I bought so new soccer boots, so they were they were clapping hands for me to dance because they know that ah, this one can dance. So everyone was laughing there because they know ah, this one the only way to congratulate him, he must go there and dance for us so that we can laugh. No so, man, next yeah, time in Pretoria, next time you're in Pretoria, let's link up. I have to see this dance, man. I have to see the dance. <laughs> nah, definitely, definitely, bro. Um, next one, look, um, off pitch, um, give. 
yeah, let's go for the off pitch side. I want to get a little bit mm-hmm. inside of it, of what happened yeah. off the pitch and everything. Now here it goes. Yeah, what are some of the hobbies and interests you take when you just away from the football and away from the sports? Mm, okay, most of the time is that when I'm away from football, is that I focus. To be honest, I focus on my family and like I, I have my fiance, I have my family, and congratulations, man! I didn't know if I should congratulate you on the. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, top, top, man. Yeah, congratulations, uh, uh, man. Yeah. family. So. Okay, most of the time, hobby for me is like, I like news, man. I like to be updated. I like to know what's happening around me. So most of my time, I always check the news. So that's my hobby for me, learning every day, like to know what's happening. And mostly I'm, I'm, I'm too addicted to business. So most of my time, I dedicate myself to know what's next, what can I do Who's you know, doing I, what I and, and what can I do to make sure that you know you can grow here and everything? Is there any ventures you're looking uh, yeah. after football? Is there anything you're looking to after football? I know it's too soon. Yeah, man. I know we still that, have that's some the years most important you, thing. But it's a good question. Yeah, it's the yeah, yeah, but you yeah, it's a good question because obviously you have to prepare for the future. You can't say you wanna prepare why you know that you're gonna retire in a year. So that means you never prepared well because you need to know now what you want to do next. So we yeah, are, man, with, with normally what I want to do, it's, 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 it's things like, okay, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm too addicted to business. I'm too, yeah, too addicted yeah. to business yeah. because I'm still busy. Yeah. So I'm okay. I do have uh, businesses there and they I own. Like, nice. Uh, well, e- well, e- well, well, well. Don't reveal the yeah, secret. Well, don't let the, don't let yeah. the enemies know. We, that's all you have to say. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so all those kind of things, and and the most important thing is that okay, I went to school, mm-hmm. and I still have to go back to school again so that I can I can get more of of education to make sure that I prepare myself for the future, you know. So and the nicest thing is that the qualifications that I'm looking to 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 study and or maybe to to get and the one that I have now is corresponding to football. So. That's the most important thing. I know that when I'm getting something that is correspond to football and I played football, not because of you looking for favors, but you managed to go to school to make sure that you know the dynamics of what you have to do to prepare for the future, you understand? So you won't be able to, to say, no, I don't know how to do this and that you've been there, you know what's happening, then it will be easier for you when, you when you're done with football, yeah. Because I love football, I love football, so I still want to be in the in football industry, even when I'm done playing. So it, it can be the office side, it can be the field side, but the most important thing, the love for me. Yeah, so because I, I love football. football. I like that, yeah. I like that, man. I think, yeah. I think you have a good future with football, Like, and there's so much of you to see, especially, you know, God. I think people are excited of how you performed last season. We're just so excited to see what's to come the next season and yeah, yeah and yeah you guys are in you are you, you're still in so let's go still another season yeah definitely definitely looking up to that and we're looking to grow to to to, to be better this season obviously the team didn't do extremely uh good okay but we are there we managed to push but we we really want to be in a good position this season yeah Nice. Oh, let me ask you this. So you obviously grew up Goval and you know you're right now in Port Elizabeth and everything. I gotta ask you, what are some advices you see that you wanna give to the kids in Val and the kids also in PE and Eastern Eastern Cape? Eastern Cape, yeah. Man. Eastern uh, Cape, ne? I'm not wrong, man. Yeah, Eastern Cape. Nah, oh. you're, you're right. Eastern Cape, Eastern Cape, yeah. So man, uh, you know it's it's a very good question. This one, I like this. I like this because you know when when we normally grow up in in Kukasi and we we get to meet a lot of challenges. You understand? So it's it's very difficult. It's way way. It, even now this this time around, it's very difficult for 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 youth. Uh, sorry, can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. I can see you. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Top class. So I'm saying it's very difficult to 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 grow up and make sure you 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 get good or maybe you you be able to take good decisions for your life. You understand? Because there's a lot of challenges that 
youth get to 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 get to challenge these days because normally these days players or maybe young people don't dedicate themselves to do good things because mm-hmm. there's a lot of trending thing on on the media social media there's a lot of things that take away the good things that youth needs to do you understand so the advice that i can i can i can assure you uh, is that if you dedicate yourself if you have objectives if you know that what you want in life because you can have friends you can have of uh, your family and but it depends on you what you want to achieve what you want to see yourself uh, in the next uh, 20 30 years, years old yeah. because because you never know you understand so i grew up in the val no one expected me to be where i am today but i managed to pull through those challenges and go out because the problem about uh, the township boys is that the minute it gets uh, uh difficult they think I-, i can't do this anymore but either way if you go home and sit what are you going to do because it it's even getting worse so the advice i can give is that just pull through make sure that you dedicate yourself either it's nice it's smooth or it's difficult but it doesn't matter just make sure that you have an appointment there in the future to make sure that you achieve what you because to to tell you the truth is that i played with top top uh, footballers mm. i played even okay. at home there were even talented players more than me but because of my dedication and my hard work i make sure that i pull through those players were very talented more than me but they never had the, the dedication and the objectives to achieve you understand and the, the talent will just fade up because you don't have the passion to say i want to go there you understand so the advice is that make sure that you discipline your passion you feed those things you feed yeah. that so that you always every day you have the strength to wake up and go i don't know how many trials i went to they never took me but today all those players that that were playing in a development paris chiefs whatever yeah they know where to be found you understand so it's because of the passion and the dedication that i want to see myself there and i'm here today yeah bro that's inspiring man that's inspiring yeah okay i'm going to ask you the last two parts of the question so here's the next one the season's coming up uh, share with us some of your what is it goals personal goals that you may have you did say you want to score more goals i won't lie i think you're an assist king and you really good yeah, yeah, and i think yes, yeah i love that players, yeah. i love players who give assists you know one of my favorite players is i think i told you benzema and he doesn't look for goals yeah benzema so i don't mind giving you the goal as long as you score you know what i mean and i and i think yeah. that's what i see with your game it's like you care about the team winning even if you don't have a goal to yourself as long as the team is doing good as long as you're healthy yes. that's what i get from you so yeah show us some of the personal things you want to work on and the coming season yeah man yeah like i said the previous season was good for me and and obviously there is there and there where you have to fix and and being able to 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 be able to be better this season so my my objectives for this season is that i as you said uh, i i am a assist king but i really want to score yeah, goals It, because of the feeling because of the feeling i scored goals and i felt like wow this is really great so yeah. i want to get that feeling frequently now and then i want to get that feeling because i i i, I don't want to lie i do have the capacity and the potential to score more goals more goals and the feeling is very great even the assist the feeling is top but the goals top class so I still still looking to 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 improve myself there and there like there's a lot of things that I have to improve but as I, as I said to you goals 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 yeah oh man all right now this yeah. time, um it's time for a little some fun i'm going to throw you rapid fire questions your way just like uh four five of them and then the first thing that comes to your mind you answer we're done you ready oh, okay all let's right go, let's go let's go your favorite pre match meal uh my favorite pre match meal yeah uh i go for rice and and uh and mince rice and mince hey, yeah nice that's and my, healthy. my nice and healthy yeah nice and because that's before game yeah you have to get that <laughs> nice all right rice and opponent, rice and mince uh toughest opponent you've ever faced They're like hey this guy uh, is owing me like he, he he's taking me to the gutters <laughs> <laughs> the toughest pop- uh, defending or attacking Any. I take him or both. Uh, I played both. again. 
Yeah, I think in okay, uh, Paseca Marco, uh, 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 the Orlando Pirates left back. Ah, that oh, guy, bro, team, it's bro. top, top class. Yeah, it's very top. And and the nicest thing about him is that you know, when you're playing against someone and then he chow you and still says, Hey, my man, I need you there, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's the toughest opponent I've ever met. Yeah, that's what depends. What about attack? You didn't mention the attack one. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, and I, the nicest thing is that it was up and down. He's attacking, I'm attacking. He's defending, I'm up defending. So true, that's the nicest true, thing. Though. True, true. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay, it's, okay. it's vice versa. Yeah. So that's a toughest uh, opponent. All right, funniest teammate, go. Ah, funniest teammate is Justice Chavalala. <laughs> that one is funny. <laughs> and he just passed now. It's funny that guy too much. Yeah, that's Justice Chavalala. Yeah. Favorite football uh stadium you've ever played in that is like whoa you got there you just had to soak it in you know it's it's just uh, memorable uh, memorable <laughs> yeah it, yeah it's it's Orlando Stadium I played in Orlando Stadium because my father wanted to play there yeah. when he grew up and he didn't get a chance so it's emotional oh, for right? me because I knew how, yeah I knew how he wanted like to play in the stadium and. Oh, oh, he said, ah, bro, you managed to play this. So my, my, my heart, it's, 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 not, it's, I'm okay because I wanted to play there, but my son is playing there now. So I can That's sit there and watch my son. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's Orlando Stadium. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you ever traveled to like a board and you got to see other stadiums with your, that you yes, I, uh, 2019, 2019, I went with the national team to Italy. Yeah. So Ooh. I was, I was in Italy. We went to Napoli and Rome. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so you telling me you went, you stepped into the same uh, stadium that Maradona came in? Definitely, bro. I was there. Oh, I was oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mate, last but not least, Messi or Ronaldo? I go with Ronaldo. <laughs> I go with Ronaldo. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me let you go back. I just want to say I appreciate um you making the time. I know you're extremely busy, but it, from the bottom of my heart, it actually means a lot. You know, you could have said no, but you agreed. And thank you, man. I, there's nothing much I can say, but thank you. I just can't wait till you come. God. I can I can treat you as a little thank you, but yeah. No, nah, definitely. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me as well because, you know, you don't just get interviews or, or podcasts when you're not doing well, you understand? So that means people are watching and they're impressed with what you're doing. So I really appreciate and the, the viewers and everyone. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed myself. It, it was fun. So thank you so much, Big Ben. Hey, man. All right. Let us uh let me cut the video and then just talk to you proper. Ciao and like and subscribe yeah yeah yeah, yeah.